So this morning we're starting off with testing the water line. We aired it up last night before I went to dinner and came back and it was actually losing a little pressure. So this morning we're going to work on trying to find whatever's leaking. So we're going to work on that, see if we can figure it out. Once that's good, we can get it backfilled, compacted, and then we can move on. I swear I just saw a bubble coming out of the... No, maybe not. Yay! Totally makes sense too, because that little bushing's got the most taper on those threads. Mm -hmm. It's tapered so much. Let's kind of shower this thing a little bit and see if we can find anywhere else that's giving us fits. Bubbles don't lie. No, because you can even hear them now. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's just that one connection so. over here. See, so I don't see nothing else that's stacking any bubbles up. So. Okay, so I guess we'll just give that a little tighten maybe and see what happens. Pretty nice looking bubble right there. Yeah, that's quality. I think it's good. Let's give her another bath. It's looking pretty good. That's good. It's 90 pounds. Nothing's jumping out on this side, so maybe we're on the other side. We can do a time test too and see, give it another 10 minutes or something. While we're waiting on the air pressure, um, got a couple other things on my to-do list. Really want to get done. Hate how these little things just kind of accumulate. Anna and I were messing with this cherry log a couple, three days ago, and I haven't had any time to get it cut up and stickered. And I'll be darned, the smoke is slowly clearing, so the sun's coming back out and it's starting to hit this wet cherry wood and it's starting to warp it, so. this out of the way over here we're gonna it's gonna get swallowed oh, yeah, in this, timber frame yeah, so very yeah I'm thinking um, I'm thinking let's sticker all this stuff over by the cabin I think it's gonna be better over here there you go you keep going so we're gonna go to right here with the handle there you go, right there. Got the wiggle on it. Oh, it just come up off that blade, wow. It's on there. Good one, Terry, good one. <laughs> it's not like it's hardwood or anything either. Yeah, it looks like it caught that and kind of bent it over to the roller. Yeah. I wonder if that's a blade. Guide? Guide maybe? Yeah, because there's one over here. So we might have to do a little surgery on that. It looks like it. Nice. Yeah, that's still pretty wet. Nice. And then big inch and a half guy. Oh, nice. Oh, throw those under there. Uno mas. Man, that one log went through a lot of stickers. All right, so it's been about an hour, right? Something like that? 50 minutes. 50 minutes, yep. and we're still holding 90 pounds, so good success on that. Um, just sent photos of all this and our water line replacement to the inspector. Got the log milled up. Thanks, guys, for doing that. It's very helpful. Now I think we can work on backfilling everything and get that compacted. I guess I might lean on Eric and kind of figure out what the heck to do next because we want to get this all graded and ready for foam. If you feel like Alyssa hasn't been in videos lately, it's because she's editing video. <laughs> Not everybody can be on video. Now, poor Alyssa, she's cranking out videos daily. I don't know how she does it. She's got a pretty good system and I'm afraid if I let her out of the RV, I don't know what'll happen. So it's better to keep her in there. We just keep tossing food in and water and just just keep doing that. I really need one of those mucking tools. That's so much better than every tool I have. I, I normally carry... You just like destroyed that and it would take me like 20 minutes to do that with a shovel. <laughs> I, I normally carry three, but uh, mm -hmm. my other two are wore out and they broke right before I came here. So oh no. I was gonna get some replacements, but I They haven't. have a pretty tough life, I have to say that. that. They get... That concrete just sucks all the moisture oh, out. Oh, the, the wood. is just so dry, it can't... Oh yeah, okay. So <laughs> we tested it with the valve closed. So all we tested was this right here. <laughs> yeah, 
So, so it dawned on me when I went to take this all apart, I'm like, oh, oh, well you have to test it with the valve open. But actually the valve's open and it's been holding 35 pounds. So I've been scrambling because the camera battery died mm -hmm. and I'm trying to keep up with Eric yep. and trying to get all the stuff done. So the compressor actually needs to be run really quick so we can get more air in here and just double check this at full pressure. All right, I'm gonna check back a little later. Hopefully we're at 55. I think, from what I'm seeing, that should work. Okay. Fine on that one. So far, I'm not seeing anything that is completely out of. Okay. We figured in the worst areas, we'd have two inches. Yeah. And if this is gonna have a shower pan sitting on it, mm -hmm. I think I think you're fine. Okay. That slab height? Mm -hmm. All right, starting to come to reality. <laughs> I thought this slab would never get poured. Just gonna do a quick pressure check. It's been about 20 minutes and we are sitting at 55. So we're looking really good. So I need to get these fixed here. Um, we, we connected these to each other to seal off the system to pressurize the sewer. But this is not a permanent uh, trap primer line. So I need to get this off of here. There's lots of concrete in there, huh? No <laughs> honey coming right there. Yep. So I'm working on getting the locate wire onto our new water main. So running that, um, thankfully we had quite a bit of that left over from all of our other water projects. And actually it's just enough to finish this one. Pipe, pipe sanding going. It's going okay. I don't know about Terry, but there's a lot more sand we have to put in here than I thought. Yeah. I mean, this one I just raised like six inches, which is pretty wild. Six inches? Well, from the ground, yeah. It was laying oh. on the ground, so I had to raise it up. And in theory, this all compacts just fine, right? Yep. Things got knocked and kicked around. Yeah, they did. So, sucks. I'm sure after all this, it won't be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna move an inch on us or something. So you got the tracer wire in. Tracer wire is done. Oh, let's just check this. That's a good idea. I'm, I support that. Hey, 55 pounds. Still there. More than 15 That's minutes. two plus hours.
think it's worth taking a moment to admire how well this concrete turned out inside these forms. It's incredible. And you can see that the concrete actually bonds to the foam because the foam has a little bit of like, I don't even know what the word is, but it has, it's not porous, but there's like a surface to it. And so the concrete actually bonds to that form. And gosh, even this, like this little piece of foam right here doesn't even want to come off because it's bonded to the concrete. Look at that. That's, that's completely attached to the foam. Incredible. I guess I forgot to mention maybe thoroughly why we're cutting this piece of foam away. The slab actually needs to make full contact with this concrete wall because the slab is not just a flat surface, it's also a bit of a buttress, I don't know what to call it. But, but the slab being against the concrete will help to resist inward push over time on the bottom of the wall, which is where you'll actually get change. I'm not speaking factually here, but the way I understand this is it's not the top of the wall leaning in that's so much the problem, it's the bottom of the wall getting pushed in. So keying the slab into the walls is really, really uh, important. Otherwise you'd have two inches of foam that ultimately could be compressed over time, allowing that wall to move quite a bit. plastic is in these I things. know I that's what it's cutting through with a dual sawzall yeah right yeah it makes me I'm impressed I can't believe how strong this stuff is I was a little worried you know I'm like oh yeah. we're gonna hang shelves on it it's gonna like rip off uh, it's, it's, it's not going anywhere no it's good we have about a third left to go or cool. half or something like that and yep. it's freaking hot right now we're so. rocking and rolling on sand <sighs> I love having extra help it's Eric's freaking awesome Greeting the sand is like so beautiful. Yeah, Eric makes us look like complete bumbling idiots, so there's that. <laughs> That's okay, because we are. Yeah. We're a bit of an insult to every trade who's yeah. built a house ever. <laughs> it's okay. But we really appreciate the labor to just to remind us how silly we are. Yeah. Yeah, and he does do a beautiful yep. job. I use this to get over to there, yeah. And then I just kind of work my way back and forth, so. Yeah. Um, so this you might need to throw in. I might need, yeah. Out. And I'd say right here, I'm gonna probably run a ground yeah. on that. I'd yep. say that's a little high still yet, right? So I can yeah. take some of that out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you could probably cut it through that a little bit. Yeah. We should rename leading to Ericking. Ericking. At least on our property. <laughs> And I can see that like the screed's not really so much for moving like large amounts of material, yep. it's more for like
on your back. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Sand. Uh, okay. There's a little more to fill in the hole. I'd like you to come look at it. Yeah. I think um, we're good. Let me, move, let me move this. You always have more sand than you think. Oh, okay. Sometimes. Good. That'd be good. Yeah. Um, let me move a little bit of course. So okay. Up what hole? Proof. What water line? I think we need at least one more good scoop there. And then probably one here. Yeah, we need to go to Home Depot. They had some stuff there. First of all, it's way overpriced. Oh, uh, locally. The rebar chairs were 70 cents a piece. That's like $240 <laughs> for rebar chairs. I'm like, what? The rebar is not even that much. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny. So I'm okay. like, ah, we'll go somewhere else. And then they didn't have a bunch of stuff. that well, They had it, but they had it in different sizes that I yep. didn't want. They were, they were more expensive. I'm like, eh. They're just justifying a trip to Home Depot. I'll save a couple hundred bucks. It's worth it. I'm feeling a lot more comfortable on this thing, that's for sure. Let's hold for a second. Um, you might want to just park it, I guess. I don't know. You can put the, the downrigger down. It'll stay. Oh god. <laughs> ah, it's off! Not by much though. It's, it feels high over there, which it is. evening. Terry's flying on the uh, compactor and uh, Eric kind of just helping out, keeping everything nice and smooth. These guys' help today has been absolutely magical. We have moved mountains. Um, we started yesterday by having to dig up that water line and today we're really flying on slab prep. Uh, having Eric's experience has been just perfect. He worked through all that plumbing and helped us understand if it's okay or not. You know, he's helped us figure out how to screed and level the sand. It's been awesome. It's kind of loud, so maybe I'll pick this uh, rant up later. Out of gas. Have you noticed that Terry breaks everything? Yes, she does. <laughs> just just I give just, it to her and she just I just, it I'm just seeing a pattern here. Maybe we ought to keep her off the back though, huh? <laughs> so how does it look? Flat. Really? Very flat. <laughs> All right. Good job. Thanks for the help on that. No problem. I didn't do too bad on the screed over here. No, you did amazing. I didn't do too bad. Don't check it for level, though. <laughs> I think we should also check the main to see if it's still at 55 pounds. Let's do it. Yeah. Ready? Go. Yeah. Holy cow. Is it? It's at 55 pounds. Wow. That's airtight. Oh, snap. I don't want to mess up Terry's nice work. Yeah, we'll just feed her ice cream till she starts smiling and she can't remember what Where's she was mad at us for. Yeah. We're sitting 
Yeah. 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 I don't think it's critical to clean these, but it's so much more satisfying when you well, do, right? Well, there's no good for the mind. Over these, but getting all this grit off of them isn't a bad idea. Well, I'd say it was a really, really great day today. We we're pretty busy. We probably didn't do the best job documenting exactly what we're doing, but after all, this isn't a how-to channel. It's more of our story, just building a house. We're really happy that we had Eric and Terry's help today. Their skill is just amazing. Eric's been doing this for so long that he knows just exactly what to do to not waste any time and we were able to glean little tips here and there but without their help this would have taken us a lot longer and we likely would have made a handful of mistakes. I think all I can say is that we got this nice layer of sand. It's probably close to perfectly level. We got all of our foam cut out on the bottom here. We have all of our plumbing bedded. Terry and I re-measured everything to make sure that uh, everything was exactly in its place and we made sure that the slopes were good because from the time this was inspected till today things got kicked around a bit so we're happy with that. Everyone did a really great job getting this water main hooked up and we're happy to the report that hours later it's still holding 55 pounds of pressure which is great so we're feeling really confident about that. At this point we're really aiming for a pour in three days. It's definitely optimistic but we're hoping within the next couple of days we can make a lot of headway. We're hoping we can get our foam laid, we're hoping we can get our radiant in, our vapor barrier. We actually have to run to Home Depot tonight, dang it, because it's not available locally and we've learned not to put things off to the next day because you never know what's gonna happen. So we're all gonna go do that together and we're gonna treat Eric and Terry to one of our favorite restaurants with ice cream after. Aside from that, stay tuned. We have a lot more slab stuff coming up and we're really excited to share the final pour with you guys because we think that we're gonna be extremely happy with it. It feels really great to reach this milestone and we feel that after the slab is done, all the concrete stuff is done. Oh. And guess what? Eric said, so long as it's not a problem with the beam we've ordered, because they had to make some slight adjustments, he is going to help us drill a pocket for the beam to sit in, because we forgot. So hopefully we can get that done, hopefully it's no issues, because we really don't want a post in our garage that wasn't part of the plan, and I know it's probably just gonna be one of those things that irks us for years to come. On that note, it's time to shower, have a good dinner, and we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Been doing a really bad job lately of getting all the camera equipment put away. Our poor cannon has spent multiple nights outside and looks like it could rain tonight so probably don't want to do that. Oh yeah, it rained a little bit earlier today and all of our smoke cleared out so we're back to beautiful days and the temperature is dropping too. So I think later this week we have a day with a high of 65 so we are stoked.